All right, so today I thought we'd talk about some terms that I often see misused, and that's going to be pseudomorph, paramorph, and epimorph. And so we're going to start with pseudomorphs. A pseudomorph is when a mineral is altered from one mineral to another. And so here you have the shape of a topaz crystal, and it's been altered to something completely different. We don't even know what it is. It's out for an analysis, but we don't know what that is. Um, almost all fossils are pseudomorphs. Red horn coral, this is a, a horn coral that has been pseudomorphed uh, to red chalcedony. This is not a pseudomorph. This is a tree branch that has been uh, completely burned out. And uh, so volcanic ash came in, buried the, the forest, and then this branch was buried in that volcanic ash. It vaporized the wood in there and left this hollow cavity, which later filled in with this pink chalcedony. So this is called a limb cast. It's not actually a, a replacement of the petrified wood, but most petrified wood is a, is a, a pseudomorph. Here is an aragonite crystal that has been pseudomorphed to uh, native copper. You can see that it's got the native copper color to it, but it's got the structure of an aragonite. Sometimes uh, pseudomorphing uh, happens, or you catch it in the act, and here we have uh, an azurite that's been pseudomorphed to malachite, uh, happening slowly, and here we have the same thing where you have malachite that is replacing girthite. And this is kind of a neat one. This is actually from an old mining camp, and this is a stake bone that was cut. You can see it was, it's got flat surfaces on both sides. It was cut, but it was discarded onto the mine dump, and there was so much copper that it, uh, it actually pseudomorphed it into malachite. Kind of cool. All right, so the, there's the, the uh, pseudomorphs. Per epimorphs are when one mineral coats another mineral and then the original mineral erodes away or it dissolves away. Uh, so here we have quartz. These are all quartz crystals that were covering barite crystals. The barite crystals have been completely removed and uh, leaving all that neat little cavity in there. You can tell they're barites because of the crystal shape in there. You can see that they were flat little tabular crystals. This is a, a, a paramorph of azurite that grew over the top of a, a, a gypsum crystal. You can see where it's a hollow cast there. These ones are famous from here in southern Utah from the Dixie Apex mine. And then obviously that's one. It looks like a geode, but it's actually got a crystal structure. This, this chalcedony has a crystal structure, and it's got uh, quartz crystals growing on the inside. Clearly a, a pseudomorph or an epimorph after something else. And uh, this one here is a calcite crystal. The calcite crystal was on the inside of this. It's completely gone. You can see the shape of the calcite crystal and it was coated with chalcedony. So a paramorph is when a mineral of the same composition replaces the mineral of the same composition, but it's a different mineral. So here we have calcite in here and these calcite crystals were pseudomorphed to more calcite. You know, it's kind of weird, but it, that, that is what happened here. So uh, there was probably some aragonite involved in there too. And that's probably the most common one that you see is, is Aragonite after calcite. So, all right. Thanks for watching.